I mean, okay, so if we look at past BlizzCons, talking about what we've been seeing here the past couple of days, the first one that I cast uh, was actually BlizzCon 2013, and we saw some really, really slow series there. These games have been super fast, super hype, and if, speaking of how fast they are, we're going right into game one, Splice versus Method in the Grand Finals here at BlizzCon 2016. Yeah, let's hear it for both of these teams. This is going to be an incredible finals. We'll have to see how they decide to open up. Looks like Splice is going with that Beastly Method once again, going with that traditional Enhancement Shaman, Demonology, Warlock, Paladin. Splice pushing in immediately. Botar actually getting the Hodge over onto CD. It looks like they're opening up onto Snuts. The War Storm coming out from Botar. Once again, they want to get aggressive early. Smexin with the counter Bloodlust onto Fabs. The Hodge going out onto him as well. Axe Toss over onto Botar. Fabs having to run away. He's taking a lot of damage right now. Sidu as well, though, having that sacrifice on the Snuts. Almost getting smoked there really early on. And there's a wing from CD trying to top this team up, make sure he doesn't dive right in the open air. It's really scary against this Beast Bannery, Mastery Hunter, Enhancement Shaman team, but we do have a Hex on the swap to shut down some of that pressure, and they're always taking so much damage from this team. It's what they're known for. It's what Splice does. They just do tons of damage. Both are taking a ton of damage, though. They're trying to get the bubble. They do actually get his bubble very early on in this game. Good job from Method there. Watch out for that blood that's coming back up from Swapsy, though. Yeah, Avenging Crusader is going to be falling from Botar as well. Splice has to hold on for another 30 seconds. It's Method's time to get aggressive. Beast, uh, Beast Mastery is up for Fabs right now. He's going to be doing a lot of damage as well as that Bloodlust up for Swapsy. So Splice in a good position to do a lot of damage here right now. Snuts, of course, still has that Sacrificial Pact. He still has his defensive cooldown. CD still working with the bubble as well as the Bop and that Blessing of Sacrifice. So Method in a good spot right now. Yeah, and it's interesting to see Sidu playing double sacrifice with those wings. He's trying to do go for the long game here, make sure he doesn't die in the opener because he saw the Reki die to the same thing yesterday with the Avenger Crusader. And here they go on the Botar. He immediately has to use his bomb. Smex it all over him right now, doing a ton of damage. He tried to counter it with his Avenger Crusader, but Smex is just doing so much. They're both all over him. Sidu again, 10% HP. Are they going to take him down right here? Yeah, Smex had such a well timed counter strike totem there. Splice has to be careful of that. They did a lot of damage to their own healer with that totem, so well done by Smex. And Hodge going out on the CD though, the adaptation trinket's going to go on to him. Uh, Smexen trying to slow down Splice a little bit with that full hex over onto Swapsy. But right now, Sidu having such a hard time dealing with his damage. He needs to hold on for another 30 seconds for his wings. He might have to actually preemptively bubble so he can get off those casts onto Snuts. It's just an overwhelming amount of damage coming out from Splice. The axe toss over onto Swapsy though. Method trying to counter pressure the best they can. Down to 20%. This could be it. Botar doesn't have any cooldowns left. How is he going to keep him up? Smexen and Snuts just doing so much damage. Yeah, Botar waiting for his Avenger Crusader to come back up. He has in 10 seconds, they should be absolutely fine, but Snuts looking in big trouble here. He still has his wall available, but that's about it. CD needs to get his wings up. It's up in five seconds, and he does have that sack available. He should be absolutely fine here. Yeah, he should be absolutely fine. You're right. Um, right now, Method on the back foot just a little bit right now. Smexen does that have that heroism, though. If they can get a good cross CC over out onto Swap Seed. CD, though, getting swapped to, having to use that bubble uh, just in the nick of time, down to 10% HP. Now Smexen wants to get aggressive. The full fear out onto Botar. Swap Seed's going to be taking a little bit of damage, uh, but it looks like he should be okay. Yeah, and Smexen's trying to kite back. He wants to bring Botar in. He's trying to get CC on so he can't abuse that Venture Crusader. Really good hex on the Swap Seed and fear on the Pops to shut down some of this damage. So they're just taking so much throughout the entire game. They need to split it up a bit. The wing's going to be fading here from Sidu in a bit, and they're going to be in big trouble once that happens. Yeah, Sidu actually almost completely oom on mana right now. The overwhelming damage coming out from Splice. Sidu, of course, not playing that Avenger Crusader. He has to keep Snuts up here. He gets a huge heal onto him. He still has that Blessing of Sacrifice as well. He might have to use it, but I don't know if he can heal through this damage at this point. Botar as well doesn't really have too many cooldowns to work with, but that Avenger Crusader is coming up for 8 seconds. That's going to be really good for Splice. Yeah, and Sidu still has the Sack ability. He did use it there, so watch for the damage coming out onto Sidu here from that Sacrifice actually swap onto Smex and Smart play here, making sure that they do damage to somebody else. Smex and just their whole team at 20%. The Beast Cleave of Splice is just so strong here. Yeah, Sidu completely tapped on mana. Fab's going to be pushing in and taking down Sidu. Splice going up 1-0 to zero in this Grand Finals. Playing that Beast Cleave so well. Just such an incredible amount of damage over onto Method. Sidu just eventually running out of gas. No mana left, and that's going to be it.